Hello and welcome back. My name is Ernest and this is Esther. And this is the comic book, uh, my comic book channel, um, comic book section of my channel. This is where I get to show you what I purchased this week on, uh, at Zia Comics. Zia Comics in Las Cruces. This is their little bag, little mascot right there. Cool place, cool shop. Love the people there, love the staff. Anyways, uh, so first we have here, um, by Ablaze is the Sumerian or Chimerian, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, Iron Shadows in the Moon, uh, issue number three. Um, right here, uh, this one actually kind of takes a weird little turn. If, I'm not sure if you're, a, if, if, how much have read, people have read this one, but he kind of, kind of like, turns into a pirate <laughs> so I'm not sure I'm not familiar with his uh, his uh, character in the past whenever he was in other comic books but um, I think he was with Red Sonia a couple times but um, yeah I, uh, he turned into a pirate and he's taking going along with with girl and fighting these um, these shadow monsters so it took a turn, uh, but I can't wait to see what happens next. It's 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 interesting. Another one um, that by Ablaze, Ablaze is coming out with some good titles. Uh, is Space Pirate Captain Harlock. Um, now, me and Esther didn't know about this, but this is actually a long-standing anime and manga series. And uh, I haven't quite I skimmed over the uh, this one, so I'm not quite sure what this one's about. But uh, it was funny from the time, from what I saw, and um, yeah, from the animes and the, the things in the animes that I saw um, on YouTube, it was pretty cool. Really, really funny. Um, I'll definitely give that a shot. I'm definitely going to have to look it up on a space pirate on, online. So yeah, I kind of heard on um, reviews it's like a one piece, but in space. So we'll see how that goes. Next up we have, uh, from Marvel now, is Demon Days Mar Mariko, uh, number one. And this one's actually really cool. I've been waiting for this one for a very long time, because ever since the, the one-shot Demon Days. And this one is, uh, got this character right here. Um, she has, she has grown up, and she needs to fulfill what she needs to done and um, she is uh, fighting the some of the Oni on the mountain but some of the Oni uh, they're trying to do is a peace deal kind of live back in the days that they used to so yeah this one's really cool I can't wait for uh, number two to come out uh, Peach Momoko uh, I believe is the artist and this really really great it's very one piece of space uh, next up, uh, by Image Comics, is uh, Compass, The Cauldron of Eternal Life. Now this one surprised me because I did see the fact that she was a uh, hijabi on the cover, but I wasn't 100% sure if she was a Muslima. So, because you know, sometimes uh, Hindus and uh, Judea, uh, Judea, women who practice Judaism also wear head coverings and Sikh women as well. So I, um, I wasn't sure, but yes, this is about an archeologist who is a Muslima and she goes around, um, this is around the time uh, just after the end of the, Sp uh, the Muslim Spain rule and um, a Muslim life and Arabs in the time of the, the, uh, the kind of, what are those called? The, con the conquests, the Spanish conquests, where all the Christians, Conquistador. all the, all the, they were trying to get all the, um, the Catholic items, um, and so she was trying to preserve her Arab um, history as well. So yeah, it's kind of Tomb Raidery meets Islam and Arabs. So it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I didn't. This didn't uh, play any, into any kind of Arab trope or anything like that. They had some uh, 
consultations and um, a person on the team writing about it. So uh, helping a lot with the process. So yeah, this one, I liked it a lot. Um, next up by image is Time Before Time, issue number two. Uh, this part we see here what happens um, when the FBI and Time Machines company go hand in hand. Um, apparently their Time Machine broke as this FBI agent was escaping something and we don't know yet and she took this Time Machine and kind of a hostage, <laughs> the guy, the protagonist. And they jumped into a time where they aren't um, territory uh, bosses at the time, so they're everybody's a hostile whenever they they show up. So yeah, this is definitely a pretty cool series. Came uh, caught me by surprise, and I didn't regret buying this for sure. Um, this one I'm gonna let Esther review. This one is from Image Comics called Jupiter's Legacy Requiem. What do you think about this one? I thought it was amazing. Honestly. Reading this and then watching <laughs> what they had on Netflix was very disappointing. Yeah. But this comic book was a really good one. Yeah, and uh, if you guys haven't seen it on Netflix, I couldn't even get past like the first minute, five minutes. <laughs> okay, I tried to give it five minutes. I tried to get past the first fight scene, but I couldn't. I couldn't. Couldn't even get there. I couldn't get there. It was there. so bad. The 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 acting was bad. The I don't know. It's just check it out for yourself and see if you agree with me or not. I just think it's really interesting in this one. It, t it explains how it is that they got their powers. Like how they became super, and it was like aliens, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's good. It's worth the read, definitely. Much better than the Netflix even if you series. aren't into like superheroes and stuff, because I'm not. This is still worth the read. Definitely, and if you've seen my channel, we don't get much superhero stuff, so this one was definitely a ballpark one. Uh, and I don't want to spoil it or anything, but I guess it's good. There's necromancy, um, there's washed out superheroes, there's washed out villains. And most of these people are family, so there's a lot of like family drama type situations going on. And this one is a little bit uh, more expensive, but it's also thicker. It's an uh, oversized series. Um, <laughs> it's five ninety nine, but it's uh, one of 12 series, so it's got tw uh, 11 more to go of this arc, and I'm pretty excited about it. Me too. In comic form, not in Netflix form, because that was awful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, next up from Boom, Boom Box Studios, and me and Esther will review this one together. I is like that one too. Save Yourself, uh, issue one of four. Um, this one. Uh, kind of has to do with aliens again and supers and super it's like the world people. is in trouble and these three women these three women come to earth to save our planet before the bad people are going to come and tear it apart or whatever but yeah. they're not necessarily great people either <laughs> the picture kind of gives it away there um, it is a boombox uh, production so it is for more of a younger adult but yeah, it's kind of teeny. But it, it, I, we, we liked it. So yeah, I liked it. Uh, definitely a good one to share with uh, your daughters um, or any kind of LGBT kids that you want to kind of uh, bring connect into, with. connect with, or bring in, uh, into the comic book world. It's a good starter one. It's LGBT friendly mm -hmm. and it's uh, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty good. cool. Uh, next up by Boom Studios. Um, the adult one is Berserker 3 and I got the foil edition here uh, this one a dollar, a dollar more? Yeah, just a dollar more but it's very pretty it was worth it uh, this one right here uh, it's kind of a, a, a lagging one um, a lagging story but 
uh, what uh, what basically happens is we get to see how this affects this uh, superpower affects his uh, mental state um, and the way his parents are using him for warfare um, kind of doesn't fit well with him either so we kind of see that unfold and when he's talking about his past so um, kind of hoping four will be a little bit more um, push the narrative forward but yeah it was definitely good and it was worth knowing what was in this comic so good good I choice uh, next up by Boom Studios um, issue number three of The Many Deaths of Layla Starr. This one right here is also of the foil edition, only an, uh, another only a dollar extra. Uh, this one right here is she, she's death, um, but, and they're, they're running through Hindu theology, so she is death, but it death? seems, yeah, death, and death, death, like, death, death, the killer. Okay. I, I couldn't understand <laughs> if you were saying death or death. No, yeah, death. Death, right. okay. And it seems like she didn't, they did, the, the world doesn't need death anymore, so God, or the Hindu God, basically kind of fired her. Um, and she goes on Earth and dies all the time, go figure. And she gets brought back to life by a creator of that, um, of, of life in this whole Hindu God universe. So yeah, um, this one right here is through the story through being told through her cigarette. Um, and she's at a party and the cigarette's telling the story of these people that are smoking it. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I really like the way this story was written. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Now I need to read this. Mm -hmm. This one, next up by IDW, is Godzilla, Monster and Protectors, Rise Up, um, Part 3, Issue Number 3. And right now, um, the plant monster has been made, and it's been made by the, the Japanese government to kind of protect itself against Godzilla. And Godzilla gets his butt kicked on this issue. But I don't think this is going to be a good idea for long, as, you know, most Godzilla uh, things happen, stories happen. Nothing can kick Godzilla's butt for long. He's going to come back. Big fan, right? <laughs> you of Godzilla? Oh, yeah, big fan. Yeah. I love Godzilla. Um, next up, uh, by Arch Archaia. Um, is the tale four four from the Trickster series of Jim Henson's The Storyteller? Hmm, those ones are good. And this is the last one of the Trickster series, the four part series, and this one is about um, Loki and Thor and Freya and their crazy adventure about how he lost his hammer. And he's yeah. gonna have to cross dress as his sister to get it back. Marry a giant. <laughs> Yay. Oh, yeah, and marry a giant. Yeah, yeah, it, it's funny. You're gonna like this one. It's also, um, as I said before in the past, it's all ages, so your kid can read this safely. Right. No cursing, yeah. no nudity, no blood, endless right. blood supply body parts, none of that. But speaking of Norse mythology and body parts and adult theme is Norse mythology by Dark, uh, Dark Horse Comics. And this one centers around the story of mead that makes you spout poetry. And this mead just so happens to be made from the blood of one of um, Thor's and, not Thor, but his dad and somebody else's, Zeus? Oh. yeah, Zeus, and, um, and, uh, yeah, basically their, their creation, which is like, kind of like a half demigod dude, 
and he's made out of spit, and he's really, really smart, and yeah, he gets killed and made into, made into alcohol, so you gotta see how that happens, and um, the story's not over yet, this isn't a one shot, so you'll, you're gonna want to see what happens in number two. Um, maybe I'll tell more about it when I get issue number two. Uh, next up by Aftershock is Silver City, again, issue number two. Again, this isn't the, this, the city of New Mexico. Right, and we grew up in New Mexico, we know Silver City, a lot of us know Silver City, but this is different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this right here, um, she, she dies in a, like a terrorist type thing in the airport, and Silver City is actually an afterlife. Um, place. So it's got rules and regulations and times and jobs and apartments. And these people that this girl moved in with is trying to help her find her friend that she saw that died with her and uh, figure out why she died and why the dude that she was, uh, you know, with took her to die. Wow. So it's kind of like what people call like the in between before like heaven. Um, I I think so. I think I'm the purgatory. But I saw somebody get dragged into hell for breaking crimes in Silver City. So I think Silver City is technically it. I think Silver City is heaven. Hmm. Uh, next up by aftershock is. Maniac of New York, The Conclusion, Ooh. number five. That one is bloody and gruesome, and you probably shouldn't let a child read it. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely mature uh, audiences only. Uh, this one didn't quite end how I w thought it was going to end, or how I wanted it to end. Uh, but it, 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 it set it up for what's going to come for the next arc next year in 2022 he explains it all at the end of his sh at the end of the issue the grandma of the survivor pisses you off <laughs> um, a certain Fox News host pisses you off um, yeah I finally caught up with all of this and I am really glad I kept up with this and kept up with buying this this is definitely a good keeper um, uh, if you haven't bought any of these single issues and can't find them, wait for the trade paper bag to come out. It'll, it'll be worth it. It will be worth it. Uh, next up is going to be Maniac of New York. Bronx is on fire. Or the Bronx is burning or something like that. Um, and like I said, in 2022. Uh, next up by Scout Comics is Midnight Western Theater. Uh, this one right here, uh, it involves the USA and Western part of the USA during the gold rush and where bandits and you know lawlessness reign so basically this group of bandits uh, destroyed this town kept a bartender as a survivor and vampires showed up so uh, yeah what do you think who do you think is gonna win the vampires or a bunch of bandits Gotta buy it to find out. Speaking of vampires, uh, this one kind of goes a little bit in the opposite, um, where the vampires aren't the protagonist, but a vampire hunter is a uh, stake. This is issue number four. Um, this one, I really like this series, but this one kind of, this issue, I didn't like, I'm gonna be honest. Um, and it wasn't the fact that a drag queen was getting a 19-year-old drunk, but it was the fact that a drag queen was getting a 19-year-old drunk. And it really wasn't much of a story, and it wasn't what I expected from this. But the story kind of moves forward a little bit. You kind of get a glimpse into the character, but... Honestly, I don't think it should have been the whole damn issue. I think that should have been like half the issue and then some more uh, vampire killing. But I'm not, 
I'm not, uh, I'm not the creators, and they'll do what they want. So with that, wasn't it, your favorite, basically. <laughs> yeah, this this last issue wasn't my favorite. But um, with that, that was it. And I'd like to thank you for watching our um, video. And salam alaikum. Have a great day. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, suggestions, leave a leave a leave it in the comments, and I will answer you. Bye.